Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Planescape Torment with me, Bring It Down. I'm gone. Uh, so we're gonna go talk to this, uh, I don't remember his name. I know he worships Alskar. And see if he has the gem that we're looking for. Because it's the only remarkable gem we've come across so far, to my knowledge. May Alskar grant you. Oh, Alla. Okay. May Alskar grant you safe passage. How may I help you? I'd like to purchase that gem you took from Mordor's box. Luckily for you, I haven't had the time to sell it yet. I'll let you have it for the bargain price of 300 coppers. Uh, how about 100 coppers? I don't know what it is, but I like you. I'll let you have the gem for 200 and not a copper less. What do you say? I'll take it. May Asgar, the god of portals, doors, and opportunity, smile upon you. So I wonder if that was my charisma kicking in there. All right. I do like games that show you that, like, oh, you succeeded in a, you know, a skill check or something. That way I know if my uh, point distribution has been All right. has been worth it up to this point. Alright, so we can go and talk to Sharegrave after we turn this into Jarum. And then, if that doesn't take too long, we'll start hunting down Farad. All right. Finally. I mean, we've technically been hunting down Farad this entire time. Just in a very roundabout way. I don't like. Well, I wouldn't say I, just, I don't like it, but it's weird that these two aren't marked on the map. These two houses. You're back. Did you manage to find one? Uh, is this what you're looking for? That's perfect. Where did you. Never mind. Here. Jarm takes the gem from you, handing you a good sum of coins. Now, if you don't mind, I like to work on my spell. Farewell. Updated my journal. 500 experience, not that great. But I also got... So I spent 200. Okay, it looks like Jarm gave me 200. Because I think I was sitting at 959 before. Could be wrong. Alright. Done. Let's go talk to Sharegrave. Let's see what he's all about. A couple of collectors. Tall and lanky, this pale, grim-looking man exudes authority despite his gangly and somewhat awkward frame. A good portion of his left ear is missing, while little that's left is a ragged mess of scar tissue, as if the ear was bitten rather than cut off. His narrow, shifting eyes, almost mere slits, look clever and dangerous. Uh, would you be Sharegrave? He spits out a reply. I don't know you, Burke. He glares at you. Who are you to be asking about some Sharegrave cutter? A man called Pox referred me to Sharegrave. I thought he might know the location of someone named Farod. The tension in the room suddenly rises. Now what a funny thing to be asking about. Uh, what do you want to know about Old Blood Farod for? He stole something from me, and I want it back. The man is silent for a moment, and he cracks a smile. He steals from us all, doesn't he? Whether we're living or dead. He chuckles. What do you mean? Our main source of living around here is the dead. You follow? Yeah, you're a collector. Ah, uh, that's right. He looks at you as if he's considering something. Now there's only so many debtors at any one time. My bloods and I can gather. My bloods and I can only gather so many. If somebody else is gathering debtors, that's much less jink that goes in our pockets. So Farad is taking bodies too. Aye. So. Updated my journal. The rub is he's found some. The rub is that he's found a mother load of them. Now I haven't heard any of any massacres in Sigil. He frowns, tapping at his chin. So I'm quite interested in knowing where all the debtors are coming from. I could find out for you if you'd like. Oh, I? And how would you do that? All I need is all I need to do is find him. Let me worry about the rest. Updated my journal. Hmm. Huh. <laughs> okay. It's a weird way to start a sentence. Hmm. <laughs> you got it. I can give you 100 copper comments for your trouble. I go up to the platforms, follow them to the north and west, and you'll come to a gate that leads to Farad's bolt hole. Getting in and getting the information is your deal. If anyone asks, you don't know me, and we never had this talk. Here? Who are you? For a smart cutter, you don't listen too well. Uh, okay. Now actually, before I go there, there's this portal up here that we never went in. I want to check that out first. I'm gone. Uh, 
Um. Uh oh. Okay, that's weird. Flask. Unlike the other collectors you've seen, the robes on this one seem to be of fine quality. Ah, another debtor has come to visit us. Please excuse the mess. My colleagues haven't had the time to tidy up. There's no way out. Why sure there is. The door is right over there. But you need one of these to activate the portal. He holds up what appears to be a small glass bead. Come, let us talk price. I'm listening. Simple. You pay my comrades and me 100 coppers, I give you the key to the portal. What if I don't want to pay? Then my friends and I will just have to sell your body to the dustman. Either way, we get paid. Alright, here's the money, give me the key. But well, he is holding me up. No. No, he, he's getting killed. What's up? I don't know why I even considered that. Having a hard time clicking on my guys. Yeah. You know, if I gotta slap my eyeballs against you one huh? The filthy sod. I'm gone. Had one of those charms anyway, right? Oh no, it's that portal key. Adder's kiss. I think what I'll do is I'll have Dakan carry all the weapons that I'm not using. Mort will carry the jewelry. Oh yeah, I have the cranium rat tails I can turn into. I might do that before I go to uh Nice, see a small fragile glass bead. Peering inside the bead, you can see colorful mist swirling about. Crush the bead. And away we go. All right. Better break the lock. Done. Smart thinking, man. Okay, let's um. Let's go turn in the cranium rat tails real quick. See if we can get paid before we do Done. the fair out thing. Cause I don't know what the fair out thing where it's gonna take us. I'd rather have all my uh my beans in order. I'm gone. Alright, so cranium rat guys down here. I have some rat tails. I'd like to collect the bounty on them. Excellent. Most excellent. Claps his hand del delightedly. Let me see. Uh, turn on the rat tail, collect the bounty. Then you sums merrily as you complete the transaction. Thank you. Thank you, good sir. The City of Sigil and I appreciate your efforts on our behalf. I can only turn in one at a time. This is annoying. So I'm pretty sure I had four. All right, cool. All right. I'm curious what the uh, the door behind him leads to because we haven't been in there yet either. So let's uh, keep that in mind. Let's go sell stuff. There's a black Abishai I want to pick a fight with, and then we'll head back to uh. Oops. The other place. Oh yeah, the charm. I meant to equip that. We'll get around to it. I'm gonna sell that as well.
What exactly does this do? Identify unknown items. It can only be used on the quick item menu. Okay. Okay, cool. It allows you to identify multiple items. Actually sounds pretty cool. Also, I want to look for more spells. Scroll of Adder's Kiss. When you cast, the caster chooses any target within 150 feet, and the Adder's Kiss will strike for 2 to 8 hit points of acid damage. For every 3 levels of the caster, the acid lasts 5 seconds longer, inflicting another 2 to 8 points of acid. Okay. Well, that sounds like fun. Try these spices, sir. Some dot damage. All right, Black Abishai, what's up? All right. What? what? A perfectly good waste of arms and legs. Endo, your path is mine. There we go, nothing to it. Alright, let's go talk, or go hunt down Farad finally. We're finally on the move. Speedrunners would call it the, uh, what, jet mode, I think? Man, oh, probably not gonna beat the game here, so it's not the same thing. I'm gone. Ooh, some money. Come on, there we go. I'm gone. Actually, you know what? I wonder All if right. Old Mebeth sells spells. She is a uh, a teacher of the arts, so it makes sense. So let's, uh, let's go check with her real quick, see if she has spells, and then away we go. Yeah, she does. All right, so she has magic missile, which I don't think I know yet. Let's go, friends. Blindness, blood bridge. Ooh, knock. Actually, I might. I'm gonna buy a knock for sure. And magic missile. And that'll be it for now. Oh, is this a one-time use thing? Oh, it's temporary. Man. Yeah. Should have read that first. Right, so I don't knock and magic missile now. Actually, while I'm here. So what's the difference between missile and patience? This spell be any more useless. Alright, I'll take one of those, see what it does. Uh, I don't need this anymore. Break a couple magic missiles. There's actually a lot of really good spells here. Um, I think just for the sake of DPS, I'll bring Ice Knife. Ice Knife is cool because it keeps throwing out uh, Ice Knives. Uh, let's see, the caster must roll a successful hit with this normal missile attack roll. Successful hit causes 2 to 8 points of uh, damage per dagger. Uh, when the Ice Knife strikes a solid object or a creature, the knife shatters, releasing a wave of numbing cold. All creatures within a 5 foot radius must make a successful saving throw versus paralyzation or suffer 1 or 4 points of cold damage and have a Minus two penalty to their attack rules. If the attack roll misses, the ice dagger will fail will fall to the ground two feet past, using the same trajectory that it originally took uh, the intended target. The ice dagger will then remain on the ground for two seconds. If any creature touches this ice dagger during that time, it will immediately shatter and emit a cold wave as above. If not, then the, then after the elapsed time, it will melt away. Finally, the caster gains one additional ice dagger for every two levels. After third level, for a maximum of five daggers. Uh, the subsequent daggers can be fired off at, by a subsequent click on the same or another target. So it's, it's pretty good. Unless it misses, of course. So this increases your crit chance, I believe. Yeah, chances for a critical attack are raised by, uh, for 5 seconds per level to caster. Balance on all things is pretty good because it, it reflects... It just reflects damage back at... Uh, enemies. Alright. 
Let's rest up, then we'll go hunt for Fairrod. Um, there we go. Done. Got all of our spells up. We're ready to rock and roll. Actually, you know what? There's another spell I wanted. I'm sorry. I gotta go back. Uh, it was the the friends one. It increases your charisma. This one. Um, you know, we cast the caster temporarily gains two to eight points of charisma. So that's not bad, and then it's not very expensive either. Oh, cool! So you can remove curse for us. So if I want to get rid of that ring, I could. I even checked. Is my little one even following me? I'm gonna pet him. All right. I don't see him following me around. It's lame. All right. Girl, let's go back up here. I'm gonna deal with the old uh, fair odd thing now. Enough procrastinating. This is a portal that links Ragpicker Square to the gateway to the trash warrens. It's already begun to shimmer due to the proximity of the junk you've got you've got on you. Uh, thrust the junk in the, into the archway. The wall of our fuse flickers, wavers, and seems to fold in on itself, revealing an open space beyond it. A passage or portal seems to have formed within the frame of the archway. Alright, in we go. I believe... I'm I can go up here somehow. An anomaly. <laughs> a, a ragged middle-aged collector approaches you as you enter the area. I, he quickly looks you over and then sneers. Don't know you. I don't believe I've made your acquaintance either. The collector continues to glare at you. Is there a problem? The problem, as I be seeing it, Burke, is that you continue to breathe in my presence. He spits. Uh, collecting bodies before they are dead sounds like a good way to meet the lady. You seem to talk with some sense into the collector as he turns away from you. Uh, watch your back, Cutter. Most deer will talk to you with their blade before their bone box, and if you stay much longer, I'd be doing the same. Yeah, whatever. I'm gonna talk to you again. As you approach the collector, he gives you a look of disgust. No more words, Cutter. You find them hard to barter within these parts. The collector draws a knife from his pocket. I'm afraid your corpse is your only hard currency. I don't think so. Oh, he is attacking me. Oh, they're all attacking me. All right, that's fine. All right. What's up, Chief? No more. Get up here. And you know what? I have spells now. Let's try. Let's try this missile of patience. Missile of patience. One damage, hot dog. What's the word, Chief? Stupid yabo. I will hear you. I didn't have to be this way, guys. Um. So I cast some spells to try them out. That's pretty easy. I'm gonna have to cast those spells, but. And Chromatic Orb will get better as I level up if it works the same way as it does in other DD games. I don't remember what each level does, but as you level up, it gets uh, better and better effects. Well, mostly gets better and better effects. I know it at one point, I think it goes. I think it's like a. Not useful Done. effect. Ooh. I'm gone.
I'm sorry, are they not the same charm? I guess they can only be stacked up to three times. Well, that's lame. All right. All right. Let's start going down the south hallway first, and then, uh... Never mind, it's not a hallway. At least that one for us. It's hard to see... Yeah, okay. Hard to see where I can actually walk and where I can't. A lot of stuff. The walls of these trash warrens are made of junk, crushed together by the weight in the mountain of garbage above. This is like it was part of some permanent structure, perhaps buried in the surrounding trash. Oh great. More thugs. Huh? Alright. I'm gone. I don't need to pick up all the daggers and stuff, but. Going to anyway. Sup, fellas? More cranium rat tails, another cranium rat charm. Alright, actually, I didn't want to drop like the stiletto and stuff. A lot of these are only worth like one copper. It's really the jewelry I should be going after. The rest of the stuff is one to three compared to my one to six. I'm gone. All right, let's take, pick a fight with these guys. Looking for for eh. the man looks you over and spits at your feet. What? You looking for a fight? Are you? Yes, I am. Are you ready? If I attack, you get back. I'm gone. I may as well kill everything in my path, right? I'm gone. All right. Experience is experience is experience. Can I go up this way? Let's go up this way. Can't be saved, but hostile creatures are nearby. Buried villager. Uh oh. Endure. I hear your words. Hey, what you got, big guy? Um. More. Like good is done. Done. So I really didn't need to, uh... All right. Cast all those spells. These guys are not... are not a threat. Done. Oh, okay. Don't tell me where you go, are you? Well, we'll come back to you. Let's finish... Now let's go in, see what it is. Oh, great! Bunch of cranium rats. Awesome. They're messing. I don't know what just happened to him.
Alright, he's back to normal, whatever happened. That's weird. I, my first thought was that he was petrified. I don't think petrification exists in this game. But it might. Oh, there we go, a bunch of cranium Done. rat tails. Interesting. Scroll of Magic Missile, I didn't have to buy that. Prickly Club. Okay. That's fine. Let's put all these in Mort's inventory. What I can do is use this. that as well. And then... Wait, what? Wait, how do you use it? I said the... Can only use the quick item menu on the world screen. So the charm is used. Why does it not let me use it? Oh, because the game's paused. Duh. Alright, let's read what these are. Sadistic frame. When you use this item causes an attacker to feel the same pain and hurt that he has inflicted upon the user. But is it... How long does it last for? Club of Nettles. Uh, this club seems to be made of some sort of prickly pan, uh, plant. Small thorns adorn the head of the club and can easily it can easily be broken off. This particular club is one of the more favored weapons of thieves. Upon making a successful hit on an opponent, tiny barbed thorns lodge into the skin and cause the victim to become disoriented for a brief period of time. This allows a thief uh, time to safely rob and escape the victim. Only usable by thieves. Okay. I'll probably just sell it for a good chunk of money. Actually, can Mort use this instead? Because he's going to be my tank, and I'd rather him have the, uh... All right. The means to reflect damage back. Bish. Okay, so that's probably the way I need to go. There's a guy named Bish over there. Alright, fine. I'll tell you guys real quick. What's up? Rock sings true. Rock sings true. Done. This is getting a lot of plot charms. Those will come in. Come in handy. Done. dead end. Fantastic. I still have ice knife available and magic missiles. All right. Done. So I feel like we can handle a pretty a pretty tough fight if necessary with the uh, spells available. And he still has most of his spells available as well. All right. He's another power power of one. So I think it just increases his strength, if I'm not mistaken. For your incessant clicking are not known to me. I don't know, but you're hostile, Gone. so. Oh man, okay, let's keep coming. That was interesting. Where are all of them coming from? All 
right. Is there a portal over here? No? Hmm. I can't go over there. Alright, well, I guess we could deal with the... Uh, fish. Okay, I'm gonna see how long I've been recording. Sound is gonna cut out. Yeah, we'll talk to Bish and we'll call it an episode. The flesh know on the blasted plains. Your path is mine. Done. As you enter the room, a large, heavy set man gets up from his chair and approaches you. Hello there. Name's Bish. Who might you be? Uh, see, what is with this Adan? I'd... Oh, no, I didn't mean to say that. Odd uh, what? Bish stares blankly at you, then shakes his head violently. Never seen you before, and Farad didn't tell me about no Adan coming around. He notices his hand moving slowly towards his weapon. You best be telling me what you're doing here, Burke. I've got nothing to hide. I don't want to cause any trouble. I just want to pass through. Bish frowns at you. Alright, you can go on. As you start to make your way past Bish, he leans over and quietly warns you. But know this, Burke. You go causing trouble down there. I go crushing your skull if I see you again. Very well. Done. Let's talk to him again. You see Bish tending to his post. As you approach, he glances your way and nods. Lo, be on your way in quickly. Will do. Done. Okay, well, I'm going to call the episode here. And the next one will descend even further into the trash warrens and continue our hunt for Farad. Uh, I know that we had a beginning, a, a beginning, a beginning slow, a slow beginning this episode, but we'll, it'll, uh, it'll pick up more, I hope. Anyway, thanks for watching, I hope to see y'all in the next episode.